everyone this is a review for the HTC Wildfire S with Android 4.2.2 so as you can see this is the HTC Wildfire S and here is the Android 4.2.2 so this is the dark screen as all the toggles that you get in 4.2.2 and a special widget in the lock screens a uh, special home uh, special panels are there in this lock screens that you get in 4.2.2 this is a rooted version and it's signage in mode 10.1 so as you can say let's unlock the device now through this shortcut you can go to any of this following so let's unlock the device first so as you can see the sliding animation that is coming it's wonderful like the zoom in animation that you get in Android 4.2.2 this is the notification and there is a new notification toggle like when you do and you get this Here you see this and here that's the shortcut that you get if you swipe two finger across this sorry I'm not able to swipe two like if you swipe two finger you'll get this if one finger normal notification this and here you go from here you can go to the settings and let's check the Android 4.2.2 version about phone mm, it's right there Android 4.2.2 yeah so as you can see that's Android 4.2.2 yeah and that's the Wildfire S Sanagen mode 10.1 model Wildfire S and, and there, is, there are no lags in this update many bugs are fixed like the GPS that was not working is now working the camera is now completely accessible which was not there in CM10 as you can see it's completely accessible the camera is working perfectly and the only lag that I found here was this so speaking um, like it was it was unable to use Google now if I hold press and hold this button the Google now does not launch either with this button it doesn't work As you see it crashes all the time I do that let's see the keypad the keypad sometimes crash as you can see so I believe that for using keypad you can download some third party app like the, like the swift key or something so I guess this is a very good ROM and it is really a good ROM uh, you get about 200 MB free after killing all apps as you 
you can see I have still 184 MB remaining and there it is the home screen everything is working absolutely perfectly if you feel that I have missed something or uh, uh, I want to know any of the question please comment below and if you like my video please subscribe the channel and I I'll, I hope I'll get you new uh, next ROMs for this HTC Wildfire S and thank you for watching my video